All right, welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how everyone deserves the life that they get. So let's get into it. In an age where a lot of people are focused so much on equality and oppression, believing that their life isn't fair by way of the system, as a magician, I am of the mindset that everybody gets the life that they deserve. And if you're someone who believes in the divine, a supreme being, God, whatever name you want to attribute to it, you have to believe that because the alternative is to believe that the master plan is unjust, that everything is not how it should be. So everyone gets the life that they deserve, and to argue otherwise would be to say that God doesn't know what he's doing. But I want to break this down even further because when I say everyone gets the life that they deserve, I want you to know exactly what I mean by that. I'm not talking about a punishment reward system, as in, oh, you did something bad and now you deserve to be punished, or you did something good and now you deserve to be rewarded. What I'm really talking about is the life that your subconscious believes and feels that you deserve. And this is all part of your subconscious programming. So the life that you deserve is quite literally programmed into your subconscious. And that is the life that you will default into. And most of this programming is based upon a sense of deservingness. Subconsciously, you'll believe that you deserve to only earn a certain amount of money or relationships for a certain amount of time, etc. These are called set points, which are the points of deservingness that have been set in each area of your life. Now, the good news is that the subconscious set points can be moved so that you subconsciously believe that you deserve more, which will result in you getting more. And if you are interested in learning how to do so, I have an entire lesson on subconscious set points in The Laws of Magic 2.0 where I go into more detail on it. But this is why a lot of people just can't seem to get ahead. They plateau at a certain level, and if they go beyond the set point, then something comes along and knocks them back down to where they were. This is quite common. But it's not about being a victim. It's not about being oppressed. It has to do with your programming. Some people are just programmed to be poor. Some people are programmed to be unlovable, because they feel they don't deserve love. Subconsciously, the conscious mind has nothing to do with this, okay? So if you're programmed to lose in life, you need to reprogram yourself to win. That's what we use magic for. And I'm a testament to that. I have raised myself up on every level by raising my subconscious set points and my overall sense of deservingness. Now, it has nothing to do with the self-entitlement that's all too common nowadays, where people think they're somehow entitled to everything, including what you have and your time. That's not what we're talking about when we're talking about deservingness. Instead, it's more of a genuine self-love and appreciation. People with low self-esteem subconsciously don't love themselves. And if you don't genuinely love yourself, your sense of deservingness will be lacking. Now, this isn't always accompanied with low self-esteem, Low self-esteem is usually a result when someone is lacking in all areas. But your subconscious can feel deserving of money, and then you can have lots of money, but undeserving of a date, and then romance. Or vice versa. Or perhaps you know a lot of people, but have very few friends. Each area of your life is governed by a set point that will determine how well you do in that area. And this is why this new religion of victimhood and oppression is so detrimental and insidious, especially to young people today. Because what do you think that's going to do to your subconscious set points? People are told that they're a victim of systemic racism, oppression, that the deck is stacked against them, that you just can't get ahead in life because they were born who they were. And magically speaking, it's really all nonsense because anyone can raise their subconscious set points and get a great life that they truly deserve. If you really believe that you're a victim, then you're just never going to get ahead in life. And there are many people who believe it, and they're angry about it, which is even worse because now you're adding emotion to it, which will lower your subconscious set points. This is why I'm so against a victim mentality, the victim mindset, 
but it's really become a new religion where he who is the biggest victim gets the most clout. It's this really bizarre thing where people have been losing so hard in life that they want to change the rules and redefine losing as winning. You may recall that Seinfeld episode that I had talked about once before where George Costanza had to do the opposite to break his losing streak and start winning. Well, people today don't want to do the opposite. They want to be the opposite. They want to change everything into the opposite of what it really is, feeling that they should have status because they're a victim. Why? If being a victim is your greatest achievement, then you really haven't achieved anything. That is not positive value. You're actually negative and in the hole. But none of this is even necessary because all they need is magic. Although I am kind of afraid for them to use it because these people are angry. They've never figured out the answer and they want to burn it all down. But the thing is, everybody gets the life that they deserve. The results that are manifesting in your life right now are the results of what you feel you deserve. You're the one that is in control. It doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. Therefore, it's your personal responsibility to work upon yourself so that you can get the life that you truly want by feeling deserving of it. Now, the really great thing about subconscious set points is, like the name, you can set it and forget it. Once you raise your subconscious set point, that's where it will be. By contrast, let's take money, for example. You can be doing money magic to get money here and there as needed without raising your set point, but you'll probably always rely on having to do money magic over and over again as you need the money. Whereas if you just raise your financial set point, set it and forget it, and the money will just keep coming in. Because now that you've raised that point up, your subconscious will make the adjustments based on your new level of deservingness and start providing that to you through some opportunity, venture, event, some way. It's like having a continuous spell on autopilot. So everyone gets the life that they deserve. Now that's not to say that it's your fault in the way that you were programmed. The way we were raised and brought up isn't anyone's fault. Neither were the things that we were told that may not be. But as we mature and strive for solutions, the responsibility shifts to us to diagnose the issue and resolve it. The biggest problem in the world today is that nobody thinks that they're the issue. They all want to blame somebody else. They all have to point fingers because their ego can't take the hit of the cause of their problems being upon their shoulders. It's far easier to blame someone else than to take responsibility for your own life. But those who do take responsibility for their own life are the ones who change their lives. It's so simple yet so profound. I'll say it again. Those who take responsibility for their lives are the ones who change their lives. And yet, if you try to tell somebody this today, they act like you're speaking a foreign language. Or worse, they'll come after you. You know, cancel culture. There's no need for any of it. The ones trying to tear and burn everything down, trying to cancel everything, claiming victim status, are all operating on a surface level. They're not thinking as a magician would. It's far easier to do magic and have a great life within the established system than it is to try and overthrow and reestablish a new system. I mean, I remember what it was like to not have much, to feel like the system was against me. I've participated in protests before. I even showed footage from one from the early 90s in one of the Thoth Life videos. My life wasn't that great back in the day, but it's the one that I deserved. It's the one that I subconsciously deserved. It wasn't until I discovered magic and started using it to transform myself that things got much better. And that's an understatement because my life then and now are like night and day. And now I look back and I see the error of my ways. It wasn't anybody else's fault, nor was it anyone else's responsibility. The buck stopped with me, and I was the only one who was able to change my life for the better. You are the only one who can change your life for the better. It's not up to anyone else. And regardless of whether you change anything or not, you will always get the life that you deserve. 
just as we all should. We got a bunch of new designs over at the Teespring store. However, this time, instead of doing shirts, we're doing face masks. Everything from a protection circle on your face to Christ Almighty, because Jesus will help block them germs, right? <laughs> and many other designs as well, all of which are going to be limited editions. They won't be around forever, and hopefully neither will the pandemic. So check them out and get them while you can. It's a way that you can help protect yourself and help support the channel. Okay? I want to thank you all for listening. Hit that like button and share this video if you enjoyed it. It does help others to find it who may need it. And hit me up on the social media links that are about to appear on screen. And I will see you next time. Take care.